We continue our team coverage with a push for change that's happening today. Thousands of people are planning to link arms to show solidarity and honor the victims of the shooting. Tony Sloan is live at the state capitol for us where you're going to see some of the people involved in this. And Tony, do we know now uh, how many people will be coming out uh, to link arms today? Well, Amy, organizers say they're planning to have over 13,000 community members lock arms in honor of the six victims and the surviving families of the Covenant School shooting. And they say their message is clear. We're stronger together when holding one another up during such a dark time. And this is set to take place at 5 p.m. today. And that human chain will begin at Monroe Correll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. It'll go to Centennial Park, up Broadway, and over here to the state capitol. So while thousands will be here at the Capitol, united arm in arm, a program bringing together the city's faith leaders and musical guests will take place at Musicians Corner in Centennial Park. So this is an effort that's sectioned off into two parts. Now that program will include music from well-known artist Catch Secor, who is co-founder and lead singer for the band Old Crow Medicine Show with Americana artist Molly Tuttle contemporary Christian music artist Blessing 04 and more. At 515, people here at the Capitol will sing this little light of mine as a way to brighten such a dark moment. We are hoping to provide people with an opportunity to come together, to link arms, to unite hearts, to really memorialize one of Nashville's darkest days. Now, participants are being asked to wear red, and they say this effort is to also highlight the more than 1,200 Tennessee lives lost to preventable firearm tragedies over the last year. Later at 9 o'clock this morning, we'll be here live talking to the group that's organizing this. You don't want to miss their message for those who are trying to move forward.